projection bias is our tendency to project our current preferences to the future ones, assuming that our preferences will remain constant. Our preferences and decisions are often influenced by our current context and emotions, leading to projections of current preferences onto future ones. This projection can lead to decisions that may not align with actual needs or desires in the long term. When buying a house, seasonal changes can greatly influence the value assigned to certain amenities. For example, during the summer, potential buyers may prioritize a swimming pool, projecting the current enjoyment of swimming and cooling off onto the winter months. On the other hand, we may overlook this feature during winter, failing to consider the future benefits come summertime. This mismatch between current preferences and the future needs is a source of dissatisfaction and regret later on. Weather conditions can influence what car we buy. Research based on over 40 million vehicle transactions showed how weather conditions at the time of a purchase can sway preferences for particular types of cars. On unseasonably warm days, even in typically cooler months like November, buyers have an increased desire for convertibles. This preference is a projection of current enjoyment of the clear warm weather onto future conditions that may not support the same choice, such as during a snowstorm. But a sudden snowstorm could cause a spike in sales of four-wheel drive vehicles by as much as 6% over the following weeks. This is driven by a reactional preference influenced by the immediate need to navigate snowy conditions rather than a balanced assessment of a year-round needs and preferences. Projection bias also influences how we adapt to significant changes in our lives, often in ways we do not anticipate. In one study, researchers focused on patients waiting kidney transplants. Patients were asked to forecast their quality of life should they not receive a transplant. A year later, the same patients reported a higher quality of life than they had predicted. Despite not receiving the transplant, they had adapted to their circumstances in ways that exceeded their initial expectations. We often underestimate our capacity to adjust and find satisfaction in new and challenging situations. Cooling off laws have been enacted to provide a safety net for consumers' projection bias, especially when it leads to impulsive or emotionally driven purchasing decisions. Customers may make costly purchases under the influence of immediate emotions or needs, projecting their current feelings onto future satisfaction with the product. Cooling off laws have been established at a different jurisdiction level to allow customers to return products they purchased during a designated cooling off period. In both public governance and personal life, the recognition of projection bias and the implementation of cooling off periods are instrumental in guiding sound decision-making. The careful crafting of procedures to amend constitutions reflect an awareness of the potential dangers to rush decisions made in the heat of the moment. The framers of the U.S. Constitution, mindful of the human propensity to act under the sway of momentary passions, structured a cooling-off period in the process of amending the Constitution. James Madison shared his concern of making policies in the heat of passion in the Federalist 10. He wrote, where a majority is included in a faction, the form of popular government enables it to sacrifice to its ruling passion or interest both the public good and the rights of other citizens. To mitigate it, procedural guardrails were established. To amend the U.S. Constitution, 
an amendment needs to be proposed by a two-thirds majority vote in both the House of Representatives and the Senate, and be ratified by three-fourths of the state legislatures. Currently, 38 out of 50. Similarly, in France, the process of amending the constitution requires the consideration of two successive legislatures. A cooling-off period can be applied to both personal and organizational decisions. Personally, decisions about marriage, divorce, fraternity, adoption, or even extreme measures such as suicide are often made under the influence of the transient emotional states. Implementing a period of reflection can prevent irreversible decisions made under emotional duress. In the context of organizations, leaders must approach high-stakes decisions such as personnel matters, strategic shifts, or financial commitments with caution and due process, resisting the urge to exert power hastily because it may conflict with the ethical principles of the organization. We need to follow a clear and consistent decision-making process and comply with legal regulations. Start observing your decision-making process and those of others around you. See if you can spot instances of projection bias. Please feel free to share your comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.